And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone to News 5 at 6 on your Monday evening. Hopefully you had a nice weekend. Now some of our producers getting out from Colorado Springs exploring the wonderful and wild west. Oscar, who's back there boothing this show right now, spent the past couple of days in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, a place I visited about 30 years ago. Still have fond memories of visiting the ski area. If you look closely, that is the infamous Corbett's Cooler just to the left of that tram tower up on top of Rendezvous Peak. And one of our other producers right now skiing up at Telluride in southwestern Colorado. This photo from our very own Ryan Peretti. And for the mountains of Colorado, we will be back under winter storm watches beginning early Wednesday morning. These continue until Thursday night. And for the sweet San Juans, the sweet spot where we typically collect most of the snow, could see another one to two feet of fresh pow pow through the end of the week. That includes the Wolf Creek ski area a little bit farther north up towards say Crested Butte, the Aspen snow mass areas anywhere between about nine and 18 inches and up towards Eagle County through Steamboat. Northern parts of the state could see as much as a foot of snow over the next couple of days. Right now in the springs, if you look west, it looks pretty active. We have seen some snow in the foothills today, including up on Cheyenne Mountain, Pikes Peak as well, but generally dry here in town where the outside temperature is 46 degrees. We'll show you what's happening a little farther south. Our friends in the Steel City enjoying clear skies on this Monday evening. Thanks to that extra long daylight, that push back to a standard time, or I should say daylight saving time, as Allison mentioned, we have temperatures there in the mid 50s. Now look at the radar, a little bit of rain and snow still out there being picked up on across the eastern slopes, the mountain areas, generally most pronounced down across the southern I-25 corridor. I think whatever we see here is going to wrap up probably in the next couple of hours, but down south it could linger until about maybe 10 11 o'clock tonight by midnight. Most of it's gone. That brings us clearing skies, some cold temperatures. You head out the door Tuesday, but the cold does not last. Once that sun comes out tomorrow morning, which will be after seven o'clock, temperatures are going to warm up rather quickly in spite of a little bit of a cloud cover building in by the afternoon. So sunny early, partly cloudy skies by the middle of the day. Downslope breezes that won't be that strong. Bring us widespread 60s across most of southern Colorado. And if you like the warm stuff, it gets even warmer on Wednesday. This could very well be our first 70 degree day of the year in Colorado Springs. Then as we look ahead, powerful late week system expected to generally be a little far north of us to bring us a lot of heavy snow in southern Colorado, but it will initiate a pattern change. Look for much colder temperatures, windy conditions, and a rain to snow transition for the plains as you make our way into Thursday morning. All right, here's a check on those overnight lows tonight down to the upper teens around West Cliff and Alamosa. 29 for Rye and Walsenburg, 25 in Pueblo, 30 in Canyon City. Highs tomorrow, they'll be about 10 to maybe 15 degrees warmer than today and could be really flirting with that 70 degree mark out across the lower Arkansas River Valley. I think we're there in the springs on Wednesday and then we're down quite a bit on Thursday. Again, that cold front expected to move in late Wednesday night. Moisture fills in behind it with a quick changeover from rain to snow in the morning and an early estimate of anywhere between one to four inches of snow. Another chance that we're watching as we head towards early next week. For Pueblo, we go from 67 to 76 and then 40s for the rest of the seven day period. So warm for the next few afternoons and then some colder temperatures for the final few days of winter. Canyon City, a mixed bag of weather heading your way this week. We have 72 with warm and gusty conditions Wednesday, a rain to snow mix by Thursday. And for Woodland Park, I've got us dry through most of the day Wednesday. Snow builds in late Wednesday night. Could see some periods of heavy snow by Thursday, dry and cold for St. Patrick's Day.